What's up, people? Perry here with episode number six. And that just happens to be right over a little thing that was pointed out to me in the comments. Uh, I tried to find I tried to find the actual comment, but um, for some reason my eyes could not find it at all. But because um, I would really like to give credit to the the person that saw this, but these stairs here are uneven, and it's right here. Right here, so I gotta fix this. There we go, and also, also, oh, right here with the half slab should be two. Right here, there we go. That looks better, much better. Anyways, so episode six, here we are. Um, again, I'm very overwhelmed with the amount of support I've been getting doing this uh, this whole YouTube thing um, again it's it's pretty brand new to me and you know I, I know I upload the first video about three weeks ago but it wasn't until maybe last week when I really started to get into uh, really just trying to pump out um, uh, videos and the, the thing about it is that you know, I would have been fine with just a hundred, a hundred subs would have been would have been more than okay. Just so that I know that it's not just me talking to myself. You know, just so that there's an actual another person that that's kind of watching it. And even if it was just my wife, that would have been fine too. But to see that it's at uh, at the time of this recording, it's at about five thousand five, uh, just over five thousand. And you know, getting the shout out from uh, my buddy B Dubs, you know, man, you know, man B Dubs, um, really, really awesome, really awesome to to get that shout out. But um, yeah, I just wanted to talk. I just wanted to talk for this episode, <laughs> to be quite honest. And it is something that I really don't want to do. I really want this channel to be all about inspiring you and you know showing things that you know what all this stuff here you can do too and that's really the the main point of this whole series is that you will be able to do certain things um you know building building stuff like this it's it's all it's all within your brain it's all within your grasp and you know the problem with doing daily episodes or the attempt at doing daily episodes is that you know, it's it's very time consuming, especially right now when I'm trying to learn how to do this and trying to learn just exactly um, how I can get in a routine. It's it's tough. It's really tough. And I know I talked about this. I know I talked about this. And it's something that, uh, you know, I just wanted to address with you. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the uh, the format of this series going forward. And it's getting dark. It is getting dark. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of fix that because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you on a little tour of, of the landscape. Uh, where am I? Video settings. Is it other? Yeah. Time goes to, day day only. And we do that. There we go. Um. Yeah. So we're gonna just gonna address the format of this series. Um, just so I can I can make it a little bit easier for myself and hopefully you know kind of reach some sort of uh, medium because I know that you guys want content and you want to see new things and stuff of that nature and I really want to bring it to you but you know after doing it just for like six days it's um, a little bit uh, well it's a little bit overwhelming so uh, here we go. Here we go. Um, so, as you can see here, this is the... Uh, I'm just going to fly around, basically, and if I see something, I'll, I'll just point it out. But this big thing right here, i got big plans for that. Um, some sort of statue-ish type thing. Um, so, the format of this series... Um, the idea behind it is that... I want to be able to do maybe a talky episode 
So one episode where I kind of answer some of your questions, and I'll be doing that in this episode. Answer some of your questions and comments and stuff like that. Um, and then the next day, kind of have it sort of like a inspirational uh, series where where in that in that inspirational day, what I would do is you know show you all the the progress that I've made on the builds, and that that hope will hopefully um, kind of stem the flow because I know with these uh, talky episodes all I have to do is just hit record and then just start talking and so that would eliminate a lot of time of me trying to figure out how I want the um, the whole process to be filmed and stuff like that because that takes a lot of time in order to figure out okay well I want to film this so I should you know wait and then do this and then do that but um, but you, you know what I mean that's uh, basically how I want it to go. Um, what else? What else? The, um, the oh, the other idea was that uh, instead of a talky episode, maybe I would switch to survival, and that's another idea. I'll switch to survival, do some some small builds. Uh, again, it'd be still more more of a talk type episode but again it's just a, a day for me to kind of just save time for that day and then once I get that episode done I'll be able to um, concentrate on just just building just building and the other option is to do the the regular episode the overall idea that I had um, before this whole thing started which is just to, to give you updates and document my build um, basically once every two days. And so that's another option. I don't know um, what you guys are looking for. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think, what your opinion is. Uh, I would really like to hear it because, you know what, I I would like to upload every day. Every day I would like to upload, but, um, you know, there's there's time and there's other constraints that I have to adhere to uh, before I can... Um, do something like this so um, so yeah that's the that's the format and you know hopefully you guys understand that uh, sometimes you know life just gets in the way and you, you have to end up you know making compromises here and there but I don't want to make too many compromises I'm really loving doing YouTube and I am really loving um, talking to some of you in your in the comments and yeah I'm really enjoying it so to answer some of your questions now in the last episode uh, with me going from uh, creative to survival a lot of people told me just to shift click across the inventory to clear it I hear you loud and clear I am a noob when it comes to some aspects of Minecraft so I thank you I thank you for telling me um, also, a bunch of people told me that um, in creative, you, when you go through the portal, it's uh, it's just instant. You just go directly to the nether. And yeah, I didn't know that before either. So that's another new point for me. Uh, a bunch of people saying, the seed. How did I find the seed? And before I talk about the seed, I want to talk all about this right here. I put that little X at the top there just to mark off the fact that I really wanted to use this in the build and it's a giant mountain and I thought that this would be a perfect place for a castle yep big big castle and so uh, if you did see it in my I think it was the second episode I kind of gave, gave a brief overview of the uh, the plans for this there's, there's a big castle right where this is and it's kind of kind of integrate itself kind of have like walls along the side all the way up to the top and yeah that, yeah that's what I that's what I want that's that's one of the things that I really wanted to point out to you guys here um, so the seed the seed um, took a long time to find it I used a program called ed admitst amidst and it's something I found on the Minecraft forums it was it's a pretty useful program especially when you want to quickly go through seeds it kind of it kind of eliminates a lot of time of me just you know skirting around trying to look at the terrain um, it, it gives a like a really big overview of just it, it just shows the biomes and 
you know, it's um, it's a lot better for me to just see the biomes and then I can figure out exactly um, what I'm looking for. So there's that. There's the admits program. And also people were wondering about the seed. The seed, I don't know. You can't do it with F3 anymore. No, it, it does it show? No, it doesn't. Um, yeah, I'll have to I'll have to find the seed for you, and then I'll po post it in the link below. Um, oh, and if you want to know where I am exactly, it's a little bit away from actual spawn. I had to I had to fly a little bit to get there, but uh, there's the coordinates, and this is basically the the area that I'll be working in. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, are you? Oh. Ollie Nova 250 says, are you an architect or something along those lines? And no, I am not. And when I was a kid, I actually did want to be an architect, but unfortunately, it didn't quite work out that way. Um, life takes you on certain journeys and certain paths. And uh, basically where it took me is what I'm doing right now, which is I'm a hardware consultant. So basically I build large servers for, um, you know, uh, large companies and stuff like that and basically all I do is just read and um, answer emails all day and that's why I get to work from home which is why I'm able to do YouTube and uh, right now it's kind of a slow time for me so um, it, it it's a lot easier for me to to do YouTube right now and that's basically why I started it right now um, but yeah yeah hardware consultant it's uh, nothing special it's you know, it pays the bills. You know, um, what else? Uh, multiple people have been asking about my schooling. Now, I answered that in some of the comments, but basically, I went to college and I majored in fine arts. And, you know, I I took a bunch of classes like color theory, painting, just all all the stuff, all the um the the classical stuff. And what I ended up doing was that I couldn't continue because I well to be blunt, I ran out of money. Ran out of money. And you know, I was working and going to school at the same time and it was kind of it was kind of taxing on me and I know I should have continued with it because it you know, it would be something that would pay off at the end. But uh, I had another opportunity, and that was basically working with computers and building them for a living. And I was presented with an opportunity, and, you know, I took it. And you know what? I I don't really have any regrets because, you, you know, what ended up happening was that I started studying on my own time. And even if you don't go to school, there's still so many things that you can learn just on your own. Now, I'm not saying don't go to school. Go to school. Go get an education. But if, you know, the, the stars aren't aligned for you and, you know, you find that what you are trying to do maybe doesn't align with what you're going to school for, you know, there's always that possibility to just learn on your own and that's what I did uh, especially with the internet being such a great resource um, YouTube YouTube is a big thing um, I, lo I watch a lot of informative videos and stuff like that and so you know that, that's that's basically where I got most of my information from even though I started off with fine arts I got I got the basic information and from there I was able to kind of I guess, you know, piece together after that. Once I got the basic stuff out of the way, you know, searching online, it kind of gave me a guide as to, you know, what's right and what's wrong. And, you know, through that, I've been able to piece together all that information. Now, on to something else. Minecraft and Attack of the B Team. Will I be on their servers? <laughs> you know what? Chances are probably not because, you know, that's really more for established YouTubers. A lot of people um, have put a lot of time and effort into, you know, establishing their channel. And, 
you know, there's so many other great YouTubers that, that should be on that uh, server, on those servers before I could ever be considered to go on that. I, although it would be amazing and stuff like that, I am not one to ask um, because I know that they get asked all the time. And you know what? It's I don't want to... What's the word I'm looking for? I don't want to be someone that just goes up, hey, you should you should add me on, on Minecraft or, you know, you should add me on Attack of the Bee Team because that's not how it works. You gotta, you know, you gotta pay your dues, you know? And, and so, you know, if it happens, great. That would be, you know, almost a dream come true for me to, you know, see a lot of the, uh, uh, the things that I've been watching on YouTube pretty much up close and for real. But, you know, you know, it, like I said, if it happens, it happens. Therese, I am going to screw up her name or his name. I don't know. It sounds Norwegian. Bjorg. Bjorg. I am so sorry, Therese. Um, but somebody said, asked the question. Well, Therese asked the question. That chandelier in the entrance part is amazing. I would love to get a look at how it is connected and how it hangs from the ceiling. And because you said please, let's go take a look at it. And we're going to go there right now. You can see uh, I have a bunch of stuff set up here. It's kind of one of the things I was fiddling around with MC Edit. But uh, this is going to be a little, little courtyard here. And there's going to be a giant entrance here. But yeah. Uh, all right, Therese, Therese, we are going to take a look at that chandelier thing for you. I basically call it my fireball chandelier because it looks like a fireball or a meteor about to, to hit you in the face. Look, huh? Does it remind you of it? I don't know. To me, it does. I call it the fireball chandelier. But basically, it's attached just like this. Nothing really too special, just kind of kind of just hangs like that and it's just connected by one little block well one little block piece just like that and that's it that's how all, that's all hold, that holds it up of course there's no physics in Minecraft it's um something that i think would work in real life but hey you never know you never know um but yeah that's all the questions that I have. I'm sorry to those of you that, you know, are not looking forward to these talky episodes. But like I said, uh, I'm looking to change up the format. I know it's just after six days, but I got to I gotta do what I got to do in order to, uh, to provide you with quality content. I want to be able to provide you with that. And, yeah, I... I'm really trying here. <laughs> it's it 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 sounds like I'm having a mental breakdown, but I'm not. I'm really not. I'm having a ton of fun doing this. I'm enjoying my time interacting with you. Um, but you know what? Things gotta change. Things gotta you know. Things gotta be able to to work for me, and in doing so, hopefully it'll work for you. So. That's going to be it for this episode. Leave a like if you so choose. And then don't forget to leave a comment. Tell me what you think about the whole format of the series and where I would like to take it. So that's it for me. Always remember... Oh, actually, always remember to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Go ahead and do that. But always remember, keep your head up. And I'll see you in the next one.